Hello friends, this is Worm, and the skimmer was just added to Destiny 2, and uh, I, it's awesome. I've got nothing bad to say about the skimmer. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I've seen some people talk about, oh, it might get nerfed. I really hope it doesn't get nerfed because I think it's in a perfectly fine spot where it is. But as exciting as the skimmer is, there's something deeper than just the skimmer itself that gets me really excited for the future of Destiny 2. You see, with the, with the implementation of the skimmer, this, in my opinion, is Bungie's way of opening up new potential within the game. And not just new potential in, oh, new vehicle potential, but like actually new content, like things that are, that, that are exciting to do. Of course, the reason why, well, skimmers, you know, they're a very unique vehicle type in Destiny 2. They've never been done before. They've got their whole unique set of animations. They've got this whole unique set of, of abilities, like the ability to literally fly, which is so cool. The ability to jump, which we've never had on a sparrow. Like these are all awesome features, but really like the underlying excitement behind the skimmer is the fact that Bungie is, they're actually playing around and messing with new stuff in Destiny 2. And this is something, you know, they've kind of always done, you know, with, with things like maybe Dragon's Breath, for example. Dragon's Breath has a really unique effect on it, which is very cool. But with the skimmer, I think the skimmer stands out beyond the... Uh, beyond something like Dragon's Breath or beyond some of the exotic armor pieces or other weapons and stuff that we've had in Destiny 2. Because the skimmer has... Like, it's, it's something so small and so minor. And this is something that Bungie has, I feel like they've been kind of lacking on the focus of. Like, it's all about the big flashy stuff. The new guns, the new weapons, the new armors. And then we have this Guardian Games 2024 that drops. And we get a new vehicle type that is so much fun. It is, it's an absolute blast to use. And that makes me excited because like it's, it shows that Bungie is paying attention to little things in Destiny 2 to make, to improve players' gameplay. And one of the, you know, one of the examples I, that gets me really excited, just, you know, to give an example here, is the possibility of seeing Strand and Stasis Glaives in the future. So Strand and Stasis Glaives, of course, we only have one Stasis Glaive and it's a heavy glaive. It's not a, it's not a special ammo weapon. It's not in that kinetic slot. It's in the heavy slot. Um, and of course, the speculated reason as to why they have never added a Stasis Glaive or a Strand Glaive is because when you are in the character menu, there is no animation for holding a glaive. There are, you know, there's a there's an animation for holding basically every type of weapon in Destiny 2, except for a glaive. Because when you're in the character selection menu, you are holding your kinetic slot weapon. So if it's pulse rifle, you, you're holding it in like the pulse rifle stance. If it's a hand cannon, you're holding it in the hand cannon stance. If it's a, uh, you know, sidearm or grenade launcher, it's held in that side launcher, grenade, or grenade launcher, whatever stance. But there's never been a stance that has been added for glaives. How would you hold a glaive? Well, nobody knows. But with Bungie adding the skimmer to Destiny 2 and they're messing around with these animations, you know, these completely new animations, like, you know, grab the ability to grab the board you know when you're falling with the skimmer your arms kind of flailing around stuff like that like that gets me excited that maybe we could potentially see them work on a stance for that for that that stand uh for strand and stasis glaives when you're in that character selection menu because really that's the only reason that anybody can think of as to why they have not added a strand or stasis glaive to the game yet uh, but with that being said, that's just an example, but it's it's the, the implication of the skimmer that gets me so excited for the future, because does this mean that Bungie is potentially going to mess with other things, you know, uh, give us new types of abilities in the future, you know, add on to our light based subclasses, you know, we know we're getting new light based subclasses with some neat stuff. That's, or I shouldn't say subclass, but we're getting some new light based abilities and stuff like that which is really awesome and it makes me wonder like are they going to you know pay attention to little details you know for that add to the quality of destiny 2 are they going to potentially in the future add more weapons that do more unique things you know uh we again we've talked about weapons briefly but we know we have exotics that do really neat things they do special things stuff like that but if bungie's willing to go out of their way to dis to add a brand new feature this skimmer into the game and I know it probably wasn't too difficult. Doesn't need too much maintenance, doesn't need any tuning, anything like that. You know, but it's it's 
it's those small things. Like if Bungie's willing to do that with a vehicle, what are else are they willing to do with Destiny 2 to improve the, the you know the the play quality that we have? And that's like that's what's just been I mean it's been in my mind for a few days now and every time I get on I play with a skimmer and I have so much fun with it you know and I wish hey man I wish that there was more places we could go and use this like I, I like to you know I, I wish I could use it to see how far I could get across the the King's Fall you know ship jumping area and stuff like that like this is getting me very excited and I think hey if Bungie has done this if they're willing to do this and design this what else could they do in the future I don't know man like like it's just it's an exciting prospect, you know, with, with the addition of skimmers, like it's a definitely a step in the right direction. I just hope that they continue with this, continue with this, this fun feature, you know, maybe adding ship piloting, for example, like maybe nothing crazy, but you know, when you're flying into an activity and you're, you're flying through space, maybe you can fly your ship around and shoot asteroids. I don't really know. You know, I, maybe that's just a loading screen. I don't know. But like with the addition of skimmers, like I think that stuff like that are back on the menu. And that's exciting because for so long, Destiny 2 has just been lacking in just fun quality of life things such as that. And I don't know. It's it's great to see it added to the game. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the skimmer and of course the implications that come with the skimmers. Uh, do you think that that means that Mungie is going to potentially be adding some more fun stuff? Of course, uh, like we said, Stasis and Strand Glaives. I could potentially hopefully see them coming to Destiny 2. But yeah, let me know all that in the comments. Of course, if you like today's video, a little bit of a shorter one. So uh, drop a like, it helps the channel a lot. Subscribe for more daily Destiny content. Do me a favor, watch the videos you see here on the end screen because for whatever reason, YouTube thinks you'll like them. Guys, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Thank you.